Yeah, you just you just want to see him, don't you? He's not camera shy, is he now? <laughs> You're a really funny bird. He's a funny little bird. Good bird. I really have the weirdest luck with these bottles. I don't know why, <laughs> but the bottom got sucked into it. It's really weird. I haven't opened it yet, and it looks fine. It probably is fine, but honesty, you really gotta, gotta, gotta check your QA. I get the weirdest bottles. It's really bizarre looking, actually. Guys, check out this beauty. Yeah, she was hanging on top of the cage. Yeah, I saw her this morning. And yeah, there she is. Yeah, she, doesn't, she doesn't mind too much. Yeah. Did she just walk onto your hand, or what did you do? I had to pry her off a little. I had to get all of my fingers under her feet because she wanted to hang on. She's like, no. <laughs> She's trying to hang on to the top of the cage. You see her? Yes, I see her. Wow, yeah, she's pretty. She feels soft? Yeah. How like, light is she? Um, I mean, have you felt the cocoons? Yeah. She's definitely lighter than the cocoons. She doesn't She doesn't feel as heavy as she looks. Because yeah. that, that big abdomen is mostly, you know, there's some fluid in there and eggs and stuff. And, and she's definitely a female because I could see her extending, they call it an ovipositor, which is what they lay eggs with. Fish have them too. I hope, uh, I hope some males hatch soon so she can, she can mate with them. Otherwise, she's just going to start laying eggs. She's going to be like, well, and she'll just start laying on fertilized eggs. Yep, she's thinking about warming up her wings. No, no, she's gonna fly anywhere. <laughs> no. Well, she must have either flown or crawled last night, because I found her up here. No, I'm not taking a shelf. You're filming my shelf. You're filming your shelf? Uh, I'm filming my shelf. We're going to the house. Shark We're going to House of Tropicals. Uh, where we've been before, but I didn't bring the camera because I'm a goofball, and uh, yeah, I, you're dangus. I'm a dangus. So we're going to House of Tropicals, and I'm going to show you cool fish. Yeah, it's fish. It's it's a lot of fish. It's Mar Maryland's number one freshwater only. No. So far, worst vlog. So far, worst vlog. Maryland's number number, number number last vlog. Wouldn't it be funny if the S fell off, like the, the front one, and then it would just be called Ears? Giant store, the come giant store Ears. I think Ears is an awesome title. Or, or is store. this a place where you can get ears? Yes. Good plan. A place for prosthetic ears. Hey guys, this is tiny Twanda. Very tiny. We are here in House of Tropicals. And where is this? And uh, uh, Annapolis, Glen, I, Glen Burnie. Oh. Glen Burnie. Oh man, look at all the kois. She. Oh wow, they added a lot of kois. Holy. They have a whole bunch of new kois. Yeah, they do. They're gorgeous. Look at these pretty ones. So many kois, so little tanks. Oh man, they're beautiful. Yep, they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna have to get like 37 tanks. <laughs> I like this dragon scale here. Completely black with a little metallic on it. Looks like these butterflies that I was admiring are still here. They're pretty. You're pretty. Aw. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fish footage, guys. I'm super aware of that. Deal with it. I was probably going like that 15 minutes just here looking at fish. I found him. Oh, I could not resist. I want to tell them how you learned only recently that corals are animals and it blew your mind. It's still blowing your mind. These are animals. <laughs> Those are not plants or anything. Those are like, like colonies. I did not know that because I'm stupid like that. But yes, those were basically animals. Well, these are plants. Those are definitely animals. Wow. This is, this is a pricey hobby. Oh, yes, it is. Top shelf, 40 bucks each. His eyes look in all directions. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Super tiny baby shark. This day, this year. Yeah. Super tiny baby shark. What are you? Look at this. He is so colorful. I don't know what those are. 
Just why? 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 Why did we decide to breed these? Just so you get an idea how many fish you can get here. This is just one row of the freshwater fish. I mean, the biggest chunk. A few more rows. Females? Yeah. Uh, no, they're not. They're not females. It's a type of gourami called honey gourami. And they're all cute. Those are short tails. The males have the long pointy, uh, uh long pointy tails. These are opaline gourami's. They're pretty. Ooh, yeah. I mean, these guys are. These are some kind of ram, I think. But it's like panda quarry cats, like having a meeting here. Greg, present. Mark. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Who brought donuts? Make the mustard off the sky pink, and you got you got Mark Blyer. Oh no! Mark a fish, the African yeah, butterfly fish. They look like giant underwater crickets. Look at this beauty. Oh wow! Really dark lionfish. Ooh! Look at this big guy. Oh. We're driving over a bridge, Chesapeake Bay. Real ginger, real taste. That's what he said. I don't, I don't Ew. know. Today I'm wearing a hat, not because I don't want to show off my beautiful purple hair, but because I rubbed the color off so badly, so strongly, that I have red spots where I scrub the skin off. So, yes, that's why I'm wearing a hat. Check also, that bridge. is one big ass bridge. That's the Bay Bridge. That's a pretty not creative it. name, I gotta say. It's a bridge that goes over the bay. What would you call it? Well, the Bitch and Bay Bridge or something bitch like that. Bay bridge. Like, We're gonna go over the Bitch and Bay Bridge. It's like you don't get a sense of scale on videos or anything. It looks so much smaller in my viewfinder. That's what she said. <laughs> oh god. That's a cool shot, I like it though. Oh yeah. All of these metal bars. I mean, they, they, they serve some purpose. Mainly that we're not falling into the water right they now. They do serve a purpose and I'm glad that they serve a purpose. What is that over there? There's a tiny little island. That would be some bitchin' real estate. <laughs> I, man, imagine that. Ah, oh, nice. And then you have an emergency. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, if you were that rich, you could get like air Speed boats. Speed oh. lifted or air, or speed lifted. Speed lifted. <laughs> just speed lifted out of there. <laughs> I'm an emergency and I need to be speed lifted. I like speed lifting. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I'm pretty sure someone in the comments is gonna be like, well, I'll have you know, I'm a speed lifter. <laughs> That's, that's when they lift up weights, it's but weight really fast. Really fast? Yeah. Instead of lifting heavy weights, you just lift really small weights really fast. Yes. I think we might have a toll coming up. Cool. So you want to get me some hard cash? No. This sign is spazzing out. You know there's people out there that vlog every single day that are able to make an interesting personal vlog every single day? I couldn't, I, I can barely make one in a week and they're mostly about aquariums, so this is a very odd concept to me. Well, today is the day where grapefruit is probably going to go into the big tank. I'm currently acclimating her temperature-wise and then slowly adding water. But yeah, the Danios are swimming around this thing. They can't wait to meet their new friend. She seems pretty cool, pretty chill about it, didn't see her flare up once yet. She's just mostly interested in the stuff that's on the container. So yeah, I'll add her later and then we'll see how she does. All right, roughly half an hour later, Grapefruit is doing just fine. She's bossing the little ones around. They've been a little bit nippy in the beginning, but now, yeah, she seems to be doing fine. They leave her alone. She enjoys the new tank. It's going exploring, trying to look for food. They've been fed earlier by me. All of them was a big commotion, but yeah, they keep out of each other's business for now. And yeah, she didn't flare up or anything. Lona's dreaming something, and Wheatley is just losing his shit over the sound of it. He doesn't know how to deal with that. It's it's a Dremel Wheatley. It's it's not that spectacular. Lona's not putting soil into our tank. Our soil layer. Yeah. Oh, I made a mess. <laughs> oh no. 
you probably want to use a brush for that. I know. So this took me like roughly two hours to escape. I uh, still gotta clean the glass off a little bit. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it back. It has plenty of bacteria in the bottom. See? That's like, that's like over an inch of uh, soil. That stuff is gonna grow really well in there. Uh, I decided to go a little easy. I just have the Anubias here. I decided to go for the dwarf hair grass. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna fill it up now. Hopefully not making too much chaos. All right, so uh, this tank, yay, it's filled with water. It's gonna, it's looking a little murky. It's gonna look better tomorrow. But yeah, happy how that turned out. Nothing was disturbed. And over here, there's a little guy that I moved over. One of the Nerd snails is now making its way. He's gonna probably take care of these little spots of algae that you can find all over the floor. Uh, or on the leaves. He's just gonna, you know, clean up these. But the other Anubias started to pearl. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there, guys. Don't worry. There. There's a very constant stream coming from this plant. The upper one. And... There's a very constant stream coming from this plant. So I got two plants that are purling. I hope that the rest will join in soon. There's grapefruit. And uh, yeah, there's grapefruit. Grapefruit is enjoying the tang from what it seems. Uh, they leave each other alone. She's trying to arrest the snail right now. Because that's new. You know snails. You had a snail in your tang. And this is the green zone. Jesus Christ. Somewhere in there, there's a fish. Somewhere in there is a fish. He, There's Orchid. He, somewhere in here, there he is, hiding between all the plants. He's must happy. Be a, that must be a jungle for him. Oh yeah, no, he is, likes it. This is probably a perfect environment for a singular fish. Pretty fish. Very pretty fish. Come here. Come here. Oh, I know. Hi, pretty. Look at her face. Can you see her face. little face? You, yes, definitely. <laughs> How cute is that? I wonder what she's doing with her wings if she's trying to look big and intimidating to try to ward off predators. And that's, um, that's her warming them up. She's, uh, warming her flight muscles up in case she needs to fly. Mm. Hopefully she's not gonna take off. <laughs> I can put her back in her cage. But that's actually her just vibrating her wings. She's warming up her flight muscles in case she needs to fly away. Huh? I wanna go to the light? Yep, there she is. She decided to use the turtle as a little uh, refuge, I guess. <laughs> you just see her fins in the back. She just hangs out in there right now. There she's oh. poking her little head out. And there she goes. Cute. 